while working on any vast data, have you ever felt that VLOOKUP is taking lots of time? Yes, when we enter column index number manually, it becomes a big headache. In today's video, we will see two advanced tricks to save our time. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Monk. Let's start the video without any delays. Let's start with basic VLOOKUP. Over here, we have got employee data along with target achieved, yes or no. And we will apply VLOOKUP in next sheet. Over here, we have got employee ID and heads on top. Let's apply VLOOKUP plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. Employee ID will be our lookup value, comma, table array. As we have selected employee ID as lookup value, we will go to our data and we'll select table array from employee ID. In case you want to select headers, you can. Or in case you want to select your data, means no headers, it can be done. One thing more to add over here. In case you want to select your data from top, it can be done. The benefit of selecting data from top. In case your data increases in future, you will not have to increase your range. But whenever you select your data from top, please ensure to lock your cells. And to lock my cells, I'll press F4 or function F4. And the whole range will be logged. Comma. Column index number. Selection of VLOOKUP started from employee ID. So employee ID automatically became column index number 1. Name became column index number 2. So I want name. I'll put 2 over here. Comma. 0. For exact match. In case you want to put true or false, you can. True is for approximate match and false is for exact match. Now I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got the name of employee ID 108. What will happen if I drag this down? I got all the names. Will this work if we will drag to right hand side also? We got NA error. Means it's not working. And why it's not working? Because in our formula or function of VLOOKUP, we haven't logged employee ID. I'll double click on first name. We'll go to my formula. In the beginning, we have got lookup value. And the cell reference of lookup value is B3. I'll insert dollar just before B3. Now I'll hit enter. I'll drag this down. There's no changes in the name. Let's drag this to right. Earlier we were getting N error. Now we got name. So why we got the name? We got the name because column index number in all the cells are same. I'll click on name. Over here we can see column index number as 2. We'll come to blood group. Column index number over here will be 3. We got the blood group. Over here the column index number will be 4. We got the designation. Over here it will be 5. Enter. Let's drag this to right. Region. Column index number will be 6. And target achieved. It will be 7. Perfect. Now we can drag this down. And we got blood group of all the candidates. Designation. We'll drag it down. Phone number. We'll drag it down. Region. We'll drag it down. Target achieved. We'll drag it down. Now let's cross check. Let's cross check Albert over here. Employee ID 101. Albert is manager. Let's go to our data. Employee ID 101. Albert and Albert is manager. Over here, our employee ID is from 101 till 120. And it's in a sequence. But if I go over here, it's not in a sequence. But then also, we got proper data. Over here, our data was small. Only reason we were able to change column index numbers manually. What's if our data is vast? In that case, it's really not possible to change column index numbers one by one. So let's move to vast data now and see how VLOOKUP can work. This is a vast data which I have got. We have got many columns. Let's cross check how many columns we have got over here. I'm going to take employee ID as lookup value. So employee ID will be column index number one. Now I'll drag this to right. Fill series. When I come to right hand side, over here we have got 16 columns. And it may be 160, 1600 or more than that. In that case, changing column index number manually is really not possible. Let's come to left. Now let's go to blank file. Over here I have got employee ID. And against employee ID, I want all the details. 
and to apply VLOOKUP on large or vast data, I'll be using columns. Let's understand column first. I'll insert my formula or function plus or equal to columns. Bracket open. I'll click on employee ID. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got one over here. What will happen if I drag this to right? It's not changing. Means this will not work in VLOOKUP. I'll click just under one. We'll insert columns once again plus or equal to columns. Bracket open. Array. In array, I'll select employee ID and name. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. This time I got two. What will happen if I drag this to right? In all the cells, I got two. So this is also not going to work in VLOOKUP. Let's insert columns once again plus or equal to columns. Bracket open. Array. I'll click on employee ID and we'll select name. Cell reference of employee ID is B2 and cell reference of name is C2. This time we will lock cell reference of employee ID. We'll press F4 or function F4 and the cell will be locked. Means dollar will be inserted just before the cell reference and in the center. Now I'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Let's drag this. And this time we can see 2, 3, 4. If I drag this to right, we can see 5 over here. It means our column numbers are getting changed. And this is what we are going to use in VLOOKUP. I'll delete first 2. We'll delete these also. We'll keep just 2 over here. Now I'll come on the top. We'll click just under name and we'll insert the function or formula of VLOOKUP. Plus or equal to VLOOKUP. Bracket open. Lookup value. Employee ID is my lookup value. We will have to lock employee ID because we are going to drag our data to right as well as to the bottom. But we are not going to lock cell reference totally. We will lock it partially. And what I mean by partially? I'll press F4 or function F4 three times. And dollar got inserted just before my cell reference. Comma. Table array. We'll go to my data and we'll select my data from top. As we have selected employee ID as lookup value, so selection will start from employee ID. We'll select till end. We'll lock my range by pressing F4 or function F4. We will press just once, comma, column index number. Name is in column index number 2, so I'll put 2 over here, comma 0 for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got the name as Albert. What will happen if I will drag this to right? Everywhere I am getting the name of Albert. And over here, we will use columns now. I will click on my formula. We will go to formula bar and we will copy this. I am not going to copy is equal to. Control C or Command C. Now I will click on the name of Albert. We will double click on the name. We will come to right hand side. And over here we can see 2. And this is our column index number. I delete 2 and will paste the formula what I have copied right now. Control V or Command V. And I will hit enter. Let's drag this to right. And I am getting proper data everywhere. Let's drag this down. I got the proper data. Let's come to right hand side. I will click on phone number. We will press Shift Control down arrow key. We will come down and we will drag my data till end. And just notice, with single VLOOKUP, by the help of columns, all my data got filled properly. And I haven't changed column index number manually. But over here, we have got a catch. What will happen if I change the heading from here? We'll do this. Designation. Enter. Still, we can see the name. And most of the times, it's possible that we can shuffle the heads. And in this case, columns is not going to work. Let's see what can be done. I'll undo this, Ctrl Z or Command Z. Let's go to a blank sheet. I want country over here in the beginning. Just after that, supporting country, region, sales, target. I want name in the center. And we are going to extract the data from here only, means from our vast data. But this time, the headings are shuffled. Let's come to blank format. I'll come to left. Over here we can use match. 
Before using match in VLOOKUP, let's understand match. I'll click over here. Plus or equal to match. Bracket open. Lookup value. This time I'll take lookup value as country. Means I'll take my header. Comma. Lookup array. Where we have to look the word country. I'll go to my data. And we have to look the word country in these headers. So I'll select all the headers from top. We'll press F4 or function F4 and my range will be logged. Comma, zero for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got column index number of country as 15. Let's go to data. And in 15, we can see country. Let's go to the blank format. If I'll do this region, enter, column index number got changed. What will happen if I'll drag this to right? We got column index number 16. And what will happen if I'll drag this down? In that case, I got NA error because our lookup value is not logged. And to lock our lookup value, I'll double click on my formula and will insert dollar between my cell reference. Means lookup value. And my lookup value is C2. So I'll insert dollar between C and 2. Let's drag this to right. Let's drag this down. Perfect. Everything is working perfectly now. I'll delete all and we'll keep 6 over here. Now let's apply our VLOOKUP. Plus or equal to VLOOKUP. Bracket open. But before that, let me do this country. Enter. Plus or equal to VLOOKUP. Bracket open. Lookup value. Employee ID is my lookup value. We have to drag our data to right as well as towards down. So I'll press F4 or function F4 three times and my lookup value will be partially logged. Comma. Table array. We'll go to my data. We'll come to left hand side and we'll select my data from top. We'll select all the data. We'll press F4 or function F4 and my table array will be logged. Comma. Column index number. Column index number of country is 15. So I'll put 15 over here. Comma. 0 for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got country name. Is this going to work if I drag this to right? No, it will not work. So I'll click on 15. We'll go to formula bar and we'll copy my formula of match. Control C or Command C. We'll click on country name. We'll double click over here. We'll delete 15, which is my column index number. And we'll paste the formula of match. Control V or Command V. And we'll hit enter. Let's drag this to right. Let's drag this down. Perfect. And everything is working perfectly. We'll click on first region. We'll press shift control down arrow key. We'll come down and we'll drag this till end. And we can see everything perfectly. What will happen if I drag this to right? We got NA error. So in case there will be no value, we will get NA error. So to avoid NA error, we will use if error. In case you want, you can use if NA also. We'll click on first country name. We'll double click on the country name. We'll come in the beginning of formula and we'll insert the criteria of if error. If error, bracket open. We'll come to the end, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now let's drag this down. We can drag down and this time we got no error. I'll drag this to right. I've selected few extra cells and we are not getting any error. Now, in case my data will be updated, all the things will be visible automatically in our sheet. Now, if I change the heading from here, we'll do it name, enter. We got all the names. If I'll put region over here, I got all the regions. Sales, I got all the sales. If I type sales over here, we got all the sales. So these are the two ways through which you can work on vast data in VLOOKUP. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.